Our live team coverage continues now with Sheree Honeycutt. Now, Sheree, tell us uh, you're at the bridge in Donovan. Sheree, what's happening there? Carly, this is Highway 160 behind me. This is what is supposed to be the current river bridge. Right now it is underwater. The water levels are at about 32.5 feet and those are just going to rise. I'm here with the Ripley County Sheriff Mike Barton. What can you say? What, what message do you have to the people of Ripley County today? Yes, the river, like you said, is at 32.5 and around noon to one today, it's supposed to crest at 36 feet, uh, which is the record high. Uh, the record high was in 1904 at 26 feet. So this is history, Megan. Nobody has ever seen it this high. What should people do to stay safe? Naturally, if you don't have to get out, huh? don't get out. Stay home if you have to. Um, if, you, if you do get out, proceed with caution. Uh, the old saying, if you see water, turn around, don't drown. Uh, also, you mentioned that there's tetanus shots available to those who need it. Where can they go to get those? Yes, his place church on 160 East from Donovan. Uh, it's about two miles out of town. Missouri Heartland has set up a command center for technic shots and uh, prescription writing if uh, needed for insulin. His Place Church is also a shelter set up. They have bedding and food, breakfast, lunch, and supper if needed. Have you had to rescue anybody since this uh, flooding began? Yes, we've had uh, about a half a dozen rescues by uh, boat and vehicle where people try to cross the road in vehicles and we've had to take the boats out to them and we've had people that was stranded in their cabins that didn't get out in time and we took boats in and rescued them out of their cabins. Is there a shelter in place for those who need it here in the county? Yes, again, they're at the His Place Church is where the shelter is set up for those. All right, well, thank you so much for speaking with me. I'm going to have more coverage from here in Donovan. I'm going to take you around the city later on Heartland News this afternoon, show you the damage that's been done and uh, as this water continues to rise, it just is rushing behind me. Live local now, Sheree Honeycutt, Heartland News.